Well, tomorrow will mark one week since that toddler was shot and killed while playing on the city's south side. Tonight, the lead investigator here at Richmond Police Headquarters is telling me that no one has been charged with a murder and that he's calling on you, the public, to speak up. I've been on the uh, police department for going on 32 years. With nearly 20 years investigating the most serious crimes. His family is suffering, the community is suffering. Richmond Police Homicide Detective Joseph Fultz crosses the yellow tape. We are asking for anyone who will come forward. Pleading for help solving his latest murder case. He was not the target. He was an absolute innocent victim. Fultz says last Saturday afternoon, someone began firing a gun in Hillside Court on South Lawn Avenue. For whatever reason, they decided to go and shoot up the neighborhood when little kids are playing outside near the playground. A stray bullet hit three-year-old Shamar Hill Jr. as his sister played nearby. They just happened to be the only little two little kids out there at that time playing. The little girl, thank goodness she wasn't hit, but Shamar paid with his life to go outside and play. She went out there to get him. I just dropped everything and flew here. Tuesday, Shamar's family shared their heartbreak. It's just sickening. It's disgusting, man. My own community, my own people. Police continue to investigate the possible connection between the January 31st carjacking and the arrest of 21-year-old Antonio Harris for that crime. We know there were other people outside. Detective Fultz now calls for witnesses to do the right thing and come forward. Every child should be able to go outside, play, have fun, and not worry about getting shot. Not worry about getting shot, he says. Well, Shamar's homegoing celebration is scheduled for Monday. Mayor LeVar Stoney is expected to attend. Meanwhile, if you have any information that can help solve this case, please call police immediately. Working for you in Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.